Ronald, um, just start with any latest on Ross Barkley or Romelu Lukaku's futures. I don't know. You've heard nothing. No. Just with what you said last week, you sort of put a bit of an ultimatum to Ross. Is that? But it's after the game on Monday, Good. and then we will know it. How um, are you with looking at the future? You know, the, the summer and what you you need to do as far as the transfer market. Have you met with the board yet? And, and yes, that? we had uh, several meetings, and we know what we want. And it's up to the board to uh, to make the deals. Everybody you talk to, Evertonians, they say it's going to be a big, big summer. Um, there's obviously a lot of pressure on you in that respect, and, and a lot of pressure on the club. No, of course, uh, if we can do our business uh, this summer, the team for next season will be uh, really strong. But it's difficult sometimes. Uh, it's it's difficult, uh, but of course uh, it's a project, and uh, and normally. If you have a stronger team, then the expectations uh, will be higher than it was before this season. But that's okay, and, and, and that means more pressure for, for the players, and for sure more pressure for the manager. But okay, uh, I know I can deal with the pressure, that's no problem. Has your summer already started, in, in, in essence? You've already started those plans, and you, you know what you want, as you say? Yes, of course, because that's not... Uh, you don't do that uh, after the season. Yeah. Of course, we are already uh, two, three months in, 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 in getting a picture of uh, what we need, uh, where we need to improve. And that's okay. And uh, let's hope that we, uh, we do good uh, business. With regards, Ross, how important is it that you keep him here? Or is it important that you keep him here? If you offer a player a new contract and a good contract, that means that you like to keep the player. And I don't need to explain more because if we don't uh, want uh, the player to stay longer, then we don't offer him a new contract. Do you feel confident that you'll, you'll stay here? No. Because. No, because it's a long time that that he is uh, thinking about his future. But okay, I'm not worried because I like to I like to work with players who like to stay. And even and it's not about his decision. We will go on, and and, and we are looking for players on on that position. And, and even when he stays, there will come more competition for him next season. When you look at the season you've had, what's the next step? What, what, do, you, what do you need to do to take it to the next level? No, OK, uh, we know we had a really uh, a strong home record. I think we need uh, to improve away from home. Uh, we need to be more clinical. We need to be more productive. But OK, we know it's it's difficult. Uh, let's hope that we will play for Europe next season, that that makes it even more tough. But OK, uh, it's uh, it's really a nice challenge for next season. Uh, we saw Harry Kane move ahead in the goal scoring market, uh, in the goal scoring ranks last night. Um, are you expecting a hat trick from Romelu on Sunday? Pff, expected uh, a hat trick against Arsenal away. Pff will be difficult, but OK, we will uh, try to help uh, Rom to score goals, like always. And, but it will be difficult because we didn't expect uh, four goals of Kane. But OK, that's football. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's one of the best strikers. But OK, even if he don't win the, the golden boot, uh, 24 goals is, is a good number of goals. Are you surprised at some of the criticism he gets, Romelu? You know, people talk about he, do, he doesn't perform in the big games. And, uh, I mean, 24 goals, as you say, is a fantastic return for a but striker. But he can, he can improve. He knows that by himself he's still he's just 24 years old. And of course he can improve and he needs to improve in, in, in 
several aspects as as a nine as a target man and and, and to keep the ball better and to 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 be stronger in 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 and in, 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 in doing better pressing in front but that's that's what we work on to to improve I saw a stat yesterday and I know stats can be can mean many things but it said that if you take his goals away this season you still finish seventh what, what do you make of that I don't know I don't know I think he scored 24 goals and let's hope that he will score one of two more this this weekend that's a, a great number of goals in the Premier League and, and what we need is uh, to keep his goals and 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 and, and find um, more players to score more than than four or five goals in in one season you could have a big say on the Champions League places this weekend um, how do you approach this game against Arsenal I uh, like like always uh, we like to finish well we like to finish strong uh, it's uh, not up to Arsenal because if City and Liverpool doing the job, they will finish for Euroleague. But that's not good enough for Arsenal. Everybody knows that, but uh, they have a great team. They have really, really good individual qualities, players, but we can beat them. We show that at home and uh, I have a good record as a manager against Arsenal and let's hope that we keep that one. I think it's 20 years since Everton have won away at Arsenal though, so that's probably more of your focus on that? No, I'm not so focused about records, but if it's a long time that we did not win away, then it will happen sooner than, than maybe you expect. Um, as far as Arsene Wenger is concerned, do you think some of the criticism he's had this, this season has been over the top? No, you know, uh, being managed by, by clubs like Arsenal, it's always difficult. But I think the time that, that Wenger is the manager in Arsenal is, is really successful. He did really a good job, but you know, because these teams, they need to play Champions League if they are out Champions League or even out the title. But they, they, have to change, they still have the chance to win the FA Cup. And I think it's uh, it's a good season for them, but okay. Uh, after a long time, maybe the people like to say uh, a new face, but I think he he had a great history uh, as a manager, and, and he showed that during a long time, and that's uh, really really good. Uh, just finally, for me, um, you've seen the FA's uh, news on simulation and retrospective action. Uh, what, do you, what do you make of that? No, I will, will always support uh, decisions about diving because that's not what I like. Well, you talk about having several board meetings, you talk about a project. Just what sort of transformation are you expecting for this squad this summer? Well, let's, let's wait because uh, I have the picture, but the picture is, is for the board and not for you. Are the board happy with your picture? I don't know. I'm the manager. And, and, and they like to continue. And I like to support the manager. And, and, and OK, I think we have really the same picture in what we want to improve and to have a stronger squad than we have now. How important is it that that squad is improved, bearing in mind you're in the Europa League next season? Yeah, but that's that's a new experience for most of the players. And of course, we need uh, to play two qualification rounds to, to play for Europe. And, and that's tough because that starts already after three and a half weeks in our pre-season. And OK, let's wait uh, what we can do. But of course, we take it really seriously because we, we like to play in Europe. And I think that's important for the club. Some clubs have found it a hindrance with their Premier League form having to play in the Europa League. Do you embrace the Europa League? Looking forward to it? Yeah, because you, you're working hard to get the highest position on the table. And, and if, you, if you finish like seventh or sixth or fifth, you know, then you, you need to play for Europa League. And, and that's Euro European football. Of course, everybody likes to play for, for the Champions League, but not everybody can play Champions League. And, and that's the next step. And I'm really happy if we're qualifying for Europe. So in an ideal world, how many new faces would you want? No, it's not about numbers. We know uh, 
if everything goes well, we will have more games next season. Uh, we need uh, a better balance in the team, and, and we need in some positions new signings. And, and okay, uh, don't talk too much about next season. You will see what what will happen. Uh, will there be any changes to the squad for the weekend in terms of uh, any of the players that have been out, anybody possibly returning? No, no, no. It will be the same squad as last week. Uh, Ronald, you've spoken on a couple of occasions about how difficult it's been to maybe keep the players motivated because you're sat so comfortably where you are in the league. Um, just how big an issue has that been of late and do you see that maybe being an issue for, for Sunday's game against Arsenal? No, I don't think so. I don't expect this because uh, I believe in my players, I believe in uh, the attitude of my players. It's a nice place to play football. Okay. Hello, can you hear that? Yeah. Is that fine? No, we know it's uh, the last game of the season. I think it's several reasons. Uh, to finish the season really strong and what I mentioned it's a nice place to play football and of course the opponent is strong and if you are not concentrated or if you don't have the right attitude then then it's impossible to get a good result just one more um, just going back to Ross is it just a l uh, is it just about patience now with you is your patience running out with him when you talk about you know he's the contract that's been offered to him and you think if a player's been offered a good deal they will want to, to automatically sign it yeah but okay I spoke to the player the board spoke to the player and his agent okay we'll see what the answer will be and, and I don't know what will happen if he don't give give any answer about that I don't know I don't know okay <coughs> thank you